Learn how to organize and plan your workouts for your week. What's going on guys? My name is Coach Malik with MBP Training and in this video we're going to talk about how to organize and plan your workouts. The first thing you want to think about when you plan out your workouts for the week is how many times am I going to work out per week? Am I going to work out two times per week, three times per week, or am I going to work out six times per week and have one day rest? This is the first question you want to ask because based off of how many times you go and work out in the week is the exact number that you want to be able to split up your routine because depending on how many days that you're going to work out for the week is going to depend on what we're going to hit on those days. So let's say you're going to work out three times a week right, two to three, which gives us more rest during the week because there's seven days. So if we work out two or three, we're gonna have four days or more of rest. So on these types of programs, you're gonna wanna hit full body. You're gonna wanna hit full body because you're gonna be able to have enough time throughout those other four days or five days to rest and recover. Now, if you're going two, I would go high intense full body. Whereas if you're going three, I'd maybe go medium, uh, medium intensity so you can work hard every three days that you go work out. Let's say you're gonna go work out four times a week. Now, four times a week, you could have different types of splits. One is a push-pull, right? So you can go one day, you can push, 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 and this could be a lower body push as well. And then on that second day, you can go pull, pull, pull. Again, lower body pull as well. And then just switch off those with a day in between, like Monday push, Tuesday pull, Wednesday rest. Thursday push, Friday pull, Saturday, Sunday rest. That's just one option. Another option would be lower body, upper body, right? So you can split that up two times in your week. So you can go Monday lower, Tuesday upper, Wednesday rest, Thursday lower, Friday upper, Saturday, Sunday rest. That's another option you can do. You could also do a higher intensity, lower intensity day. So let's say you go push pull. You can go Monday push heavy, Tuesday pull heavy, Wednesday rest, and then you can go back Thursday push light, a little higher reps, lower weight, and then Friday pull light, higher reps, lower weight. So you can always mix it up. I just always recommend you listen to your body and feel how it's feeling throughout your workouts and also the next day after your workout so you know what to do when you go back into the gym. So these are just examples of four times a week. Now let's go to five times a week. So if you go five times a week, now we're going to be able to spread out our workouts and our exercise groups a little bit more. We're gonna have only two days of rest, right? And in my past videos, you guys saw the eight, seven to eight different body movements. That's what you're gonna to want to balance throughout the five days. So now we're gonna split up even shorter. Rather than upper body, we're now gonna maybe go upper body, chest try, right? Instead of just lower body, maybe we're gonna go quad focus slash knee dominant. Lunges, step ups, stuff like that. Then maybe we go pull, we're gonna go a little bit more, we're gonna go back by, right? We're gonna go back to upper or lower, we can go deadlifts and hip dominant, right? And then going back to upper, we can go push and pull if we wanted to. We can go shoulders, we can go core heavy, and yada yada. Because we're working out more than we are resting during the week, we're able to split up our muscle groups a little bit more so that they still have enough time to rest and recover while still getting getting our five workouts in for that week. Now, one thing I do wanna recommend, if you are working out five to six times a week, you do wanna make sure that you do have a recovery day. If you are gonna do something on that seventh day, I highly recommend it being a active cardio or an active rest day. Maybe you're going on a hike, maybe you're going out to the beach just enjoying some nature, but I highly recommend that you do take a day off of the weights or a day off of intense exercise. That way your body can go into a recovery state and build back the muscle that we broke down during the workouts. Thank you guys for watching that video on how to organize and plan your workouts. I hope this helped you. If it did, give it a like, share it with a friend who is trying to plan and organize their workout routine. And if you have any questions, drop a comment or send me a message. And I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys again. Remember, be certain in yourself, be certain in your skills, and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. See you next video.